So in this question, we have a uniformly charged ring of, uh, let's say the charge is Q and mass is M and it's kept in a time varying magnetic field, it's BT. And we have to find what is the angular velocity omega as a function of time, as a function of induction P. So when the charge Q is distributed on the periphery, we know that due to the induced electric field, every charged particle on this ring will be forced towards in tangential direction. That will create a net torque on the whole ring. So once again, if you take a DQ charge on this ring, so let's say that you change DQ charge here, the electric field on that point will be R by 2 dB by dt because of the time varying field. So every charged particle is force will experience a tangential force. So now we can about the point O we can write the torque equation. So torque about O is equal to QE into R. So ideally it should be DQ into E into R and integral of DQ will lead to Q. So we can see here from the diagram that all the charged particles are experiencing the torque QE into R. So torque is QE into R is equal to I alpha. So E I can write as R by 2 dB by dt. R is the radius of this ring times R is equal to I is MR square for a ring and alpha I can write as d omega by dt. So R will get cancelled and I will get with d omega is equal to Q by 2m dB. Now I have, I have to integrate with the limits. So omega it's given that starts at rest and no magnetic field was present. So at initially omega at t is equal to 0 was 0 and b at t is equal to 0 is also 0. And at time t b becomes bt and omega becomes omega t which we are supposed to find. So this becomes omega t minus 0 is equal to q by 2m bt minus 0 or omega t is equal to q bt by 2m which is our answer.